Hey everybody, Michael Nizer with 47products.com. Uh, here at the range, I've been promising to you guys uh, live fire with uh, the, the louse slips tray and the mall rat sled. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had a couple minutes here on, on Thanksgiving Day. I, I've got to be at my, uh, my fiance's in, in probably about 15 minutes now. Uh, but uh, I, uh, to get from my place to get to her place, I have to drive right past the range. I thought, all right, I'll just swing by and I'll take a couple shots. Well, <laughs> I, I've already done this once. I I didn't hit the record button on my camera, so my apologies. We're down to ten minutes now, so we're gonna do what we we can with the time we got. Hey, it is what it is, right? <laughs> so we've got a ten twenty two here. Uh, I've got the the uh, lost slips tray and the mall rat sled. We'll uh, take a couple shots with the uh, with the uh, lost slips here first. Drop round in. These are thirty six grain uh, CCIs. Uh, they are hollow points. Just what I happen to grab. Normally, with these guns, uh, especially with my 1022, uh, at this range, I usually shoot subsonic when I'm looking for any sort of accuracy because with these rounds, they seem to go uh, take that uh, transition, that, that, that sonic transition, uh, right before they hit the target here. Uh, so I, I lose just a little bit of accuracy. If I'm shooting at 30 here, I don't have any issues with accuracy with the, uh, the 36 grain. Uh, CCIs, but when I hit 50, uh, I have issues. All right, so that was the uh, that was just what is that three four rounds uh, through the uh, the louse slips. We'll go to the mall rat sled here. Put another couple rounds through. There we go, just that easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to uh, the Ruger American Rimfire here. Whew, that wind is cold. I'm hoping it's not ruining the audio. All right, there's an empty. Told you I was doing this before. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do the uh, louse slips tray here in the Ruger American Rimfire. Again, uh, just sticking with the CCI for right now. I've got some Ely's over here. I'll throw in in just a minute. All right. Oh man, hands are starting to get numb. <laughs> like I said, I already did this once. Sounds like we got some farm machinery too, so you're getting uh, quite the rural Ohio experience. Yeah, here comes a nice uh, tractor for you. But you're still seeing how it works. Uh, so again, these are the CCIs. These are 36 grain hollow points uh, that I'm putting through, but you know, the 40 grain solids are the same. Uh, let's switch over some Ely. So we've got uh, Ely Club uh, that uh, I found to be pretty good as far as accuracy and not too bad on the wallet. You can see quite a, or you can hear quite a different report. At least I can. I don't know if I was going to turn up on camera. Shooting a different target here. Hopefully, getting a little more of the steel sound action for you. Uh, so that is loud slips out of the Ruger American Rimfire. We'll switch over to the sled. More at sled here. There we go. That's it. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Sorry it's so short. I'm working with the time I got in uh, Ohio weather. Like I said, it's really windy. I hope you all can hear me and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I'll do a better range video when I have some time and when the weather's not terrible. But uh, for now, that's what we got. All right. Y'all enjoy. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving.